region. It's been something, as you know, we've spoken about a number of times, it's something we've focused on. We've been incredibly concerned about uh, the potential for escalation since October 7th, and that's why we have engaged in intense diplomatic efforts to try to prevent escalation. So um, I will say we noted the comments from uh, the government of Pakistan uh, about the importance of cooperative relations between Pakistan and its neighbors. We thought those were productive, uh, useful statements. Um, and uh, certainly, there's no need for escalation. And we would um, uh, urge restraint on all sides in this case. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead, Alex. We are clear. Uh, in this feud between Iran and Pakistan, which is triggered by Iran, who are you standing with? With the terrorist regime of Iran or with the non-NATO ally, major ally of Pakistan? So I think I made pretty clear yesterday that uh, what we think about uh, Iran's attacks, not just the, the uh, strikes that it has launched in the past three days against three of its neighbors, but its long history uh, of funding terrorism, of funding instability, and, and sowing discord in the Middle East. And that's something that we have seen contribute to the conflict in Gaza. You've seen Iran, the uh, principal supporter of Hamas for years. Uh, they are the, uh, the major funder of Hezbollah. They are one of the major funders of the Houthis. So we've seen the consequences of the actions that Iran has taken to add to regional, stability, regional instability. Um, and that's why we continue to take actions to hold Iran count accountable, but also send very clear messages to Iran um, that we don't want to see this conflict escalated in any way, shape, or form, which is the message I just sent from this podium. If it does escalate, which again is not after Pakistan, uh, can Pakistan rely on its major ally? Uh, uh, so I don't want to um, get into hypotheticals. We don't believe this should uh, escalate in any way, shape, or form. Pakistan is a major uh, non NATO ally of the United States. That will remain the case, but we would urge restraint in this case. We do not want to see escalation and do not think there is any need for escalation. You see, Iran is not particularly well liked in the region. Uh, where, where that goes, we're working on now. I don't know where that goes.